hi guys welcome back to my channel lucd and today we are going to do this particular how to print star pattern in the form of x which is that we have to print this x pattern right no left right upper print uh, upper pyramid lower pyramid inverted pyramid full pyramid nothing we just have to print this particular star pattern and it is so much of easy that you guys at the end of the lecture you will think that how much easy it was right it looks difficult but it is damn easy right so in order to understand it let's quickly get back jump back to the lecture for this what i told you already earlier if there are if you have to print a particular star pattern except in some cases of tricks that we have followed let's divide them into number of rows right so i have divided into number of rows and number of columns so how many rows are there first try to understand this is this is your row one row two row three row 4 and row 5 right this is your column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 and column 5 right and where exactly these stars are located onto this particular you know uh, x by y matrix it is a proper example of a square but where exactly these star asterisk are printed can you see whenever value of i or whenever this row and column value is equal a star is printed second row second column right third row third column fourth row fourth column fifth row fifth column right i hope you guys are able to understand you guys are getting my point right first try to visualize this particular point one two three four five this diagonal point first row first column second row second column so it is very much clear that whenever this condition is met you have to print it right second thing now try to understand this will get printed it will get take care of itself right but what about this particular point or this let's start from here so this is condition where row is one that is let's say if there are two loops we are taking so row is one i is one right and the column count and the column is fifth row is one let's say r is one and column is five okay what about this particular point row is two and the column is fourth i hope this much is clear about these two asterisk what about this particular asterisk I am highlighting them in blank. Row is equal to fourth, but column is equal to two. Very much good. And what about this asterisk? Our row is fifth, but our column is one. Right? So it means that five plus one is six, four plus two is six, five plus one is six, four plus two is six. It means that whenever the sum of row and column is somewhat equal to six, you have to print it. And that is it. It's so easy. I'm going to print it in front of you. You realize that it is even more easier than this particular a Pascal right triangle, right? It is even much easier than this particular star pattern, right? So just let's quickly jump onto the lecture. Okay. So what I have done is that I've already printed in my last session, but you know, for you guys, I'll try to, you know, again, again, react it each and everything. Okay. So what is happening over here, guys? But since the start of my series, since the start of my entire playlist, I have not touched or I have not played around with the base loop. So my base loop is going to remain the same. So for i and t i, there are five rows. So i and t i equals to one, i less than equals five and i plus plus, right? So I'm not playing any logic change or not playing with, you know, this particular base loop. Five rows, which means that we have to print it you know five times i mean these asterisks are required to be printed in five different rows right because it is happening in the same way right so i equals one i less than equal to five i plus plus we have to print this particular star pattern right where actually we have to print it whenever value of i is equal to j or i plus j equal to six okay so let's go to our printing loop or int j equals one 
j less than equals 5 and j plus plus okay this is our printing loop just apply a particular condition over here that if <coughs> sorry so we have to just apply a particular logic over here which i have already told you whenever value of i is equal to j which means that which means that whenever row is one column is one row is two column is two row is three column is three you have to print star or 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 means yeah agar ye condition satisfy ho gayi yeah if row is one column is five which means that their sum is equal to six print star okay so this is the requirement so if i is equal to j or if i plus j equal to 6 so whenever this particular condition is met you simply have to print your star that is it this is all about this lecture i can simply say thank you for your time and patience but this is so easy this is so easy right so this is done print particular star over here and once this loop is done we can print for the next line right we'll try to print it let's see what happens let's see what happens something has happened over here right if i is equal to j and i plus j is equal to 6 if this condition is being satisfied then only you will print it else what you are going to do else otherwise or you can say else you will simply print a blank spaces right now if you run it see it is a perfect star pattern why you are printing blank spaces guys because if this condition is satisfied then print it if not satisfied print this again not satisfied print this again not satisfied print this again satisfied i plus j one plus column is five i plus j is equal to six print star Sim then again time it will happen in the same way right so for the second time or the first second time when i value is 2 j value again start with 1 tick so i is not equal to j i mean i is 2 2 is not equal to 1 right for the sec for the first time it will not happen or this condition will also not met it will not print but once the value of j gets increased j plus plus value of j is 2 i is also 2 so i is 2 j is also 2 condition satisfied it will get printed right again value of j will keep on increasing right again the value of j will increase the value of j will become 3 this time the value of j is 3 this time right so value of j is 3 this time and value of i is 2 so 2 plus 3 is never equal to 6 not false not correct it means it is going to print a space over here right in the same way it's going to print the entire logic and it is so easy it is so easy right so guys this was all about this particular lecture if i is equal to j and if i and j their sum is equal to 6 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 simply print it that is it right i can also take with that of a scanner classes like scanner sc equal to new scanner sc i can take an input for n i can you know try to you know uh, make it a generalized form without hard, hard coding it so that this loop gets printed for n number of times like this so big right but for the sake of simplicity and the sake of ease of complexity please learn it because i have still not this is my ninth lecture i guess but i have not played around any single time with this particular loop please play a very careful attention this loop is very important this is for running your loops n number of times kitni bar ye loop chalega right so i hope you guys uh, have enjoyed my lecture it is very easy thank you for your time and patience thanks a lot